there's no easy way to transition into this, but I, I did want to talk about how you became CEO of this wonderful company. It's quite a story. And so if you could just share a little bit about the founding of Mother Raw, how you got involved, and then ultimately how you or how you're now leading the team. Uh, absolutely. So when I um, started with this with this business, I had uh, I had left behind a career in CPG of about 25 years. And I was really looking forward to going from big and bureaucratic to small and scrappy and fast. Mm. And I was brought in to, to help do a little bit of uh, consulting work. So the company was actually called Raw Foods. So a different company name, different brand name. And it was founded by a woman named Michelle Kopman. And by the time I arrived on the scene, Michelle had already successfully had a VC invest in her company. And they had been invested for about, uh, about a year and hadn't quite had the traction that they would, you know, were looking for which is often the case, I think, but um, they were, you know, they kind of decided that what they needed was somebody who had my experience to come in and give them some, give them some perspective. Mm -hmm. So as I was in that process, about two and a half months in, uh, Michelle, who had, who had been very supportive of, of you know, how, just figuring out how to take her vision to more, more, more eyeballs and, and more stomachs, um, she passed away at uh, the very young age of 45. And it was like the lights went out in the company. Uh, you know, a founder, I mean, they, they, they live, breathe. She created this product in her kitchen and sold it at farmer's markets like most you know, founding stories start. Right. And so it was uh, at that time that you know, I was able to, uh, well, not able that I, I willingly and, and went um, went forward as CEO to, to really with the passion of um, taking what was and is an excellent proposition, and and now we're we've gone from um, what she had three hundred stores, which on her own was fantastic, and we're in um, thirty six hundred now, and I just think she's shining a light on what we're doing. It's amazing, and what I mean, I can. I, I shared this with you before where I knew of one company who lost a co-founder and um, how it was just really, you know, it's the DNA of that person still exists. And, you know, leadership tries to make sure that that person is remembered in everything that you do. And you had mentioned a story to me about how, and I'm hoping you can share it about how her daughter came in, right? Her 19 year old daughter while you guys were doing some sort of branding work. And what, what was that? Yeah. What, what was that like? Yeah. That was really cool. Basically, so Michelle uh, has two two kids, Laurel, her oldest a daughter, and, and a younger son. And um, Laurel came to work with us after her mom passed as an intern that summer. And we were in the throes of really getting down to the fundamentals of this brand. What is the mission? What is the vision? Why do we exist? How could the world exist without us? our why, right? Mm -hmm. and, um, and she was with us for that work. And she was able to impart, you know, her perspective from, she, she and her mom were very close. She used to taste test everything with her mom. So she was, you know, very, very clear on what her mom's ambitions were. And so she was part of the whole rebranding effort, which could have been seen as quite threatening. You know, you changed my mom's brand, right. but it literally, it, it, she was just so supportive and loved what we were doing because she saw why we were doing it, how we were doing it. We also redeveloped all the products. And we did that not because we needed to change the fundamental of like the ingredients. That was so important and is important to us. It was important to Michelle, but just because Michelle wasn't a professional product developer, mm -hmm. right? she made these recipes and, and came up with them herself. But I was able to, I have tons of experience in innovation and product development. So I was able to bring in the right person to work with our ingredients, to redo all the products uh, that needed redoing. And Laurel was sitting there taste testing with us, you know, just like she tested with her mom. So it made it very, it wasn't about, you know, the commercial success. Of course, that's, that's, you know, part of it, but it was about doing it in a way that was the right way, sustainable, true to the original vision. And Mich Michelle's question to herself, the challenge that she posed to herself that led her down this path was, 
why the heck can't my salad dressing be as healthy as my salad? Mm. As easy as that, right? And I mean, how many people say that? They don't do anything about it. And I was one of those people, right? And so we stayed true. And when you think about the name Mother Ra and how it relates to the story, you know, Michelle, Mother Earth, Mother Ra, the Mother of Ra, you can see how it all kind of came together. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.